Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Today we're going to try O Solo Mio. That's it. That's the whole song. So it just repeats that pattern over and over again. So what we got, so we're going to grab a D chord. Uh, I'm not going to grab the whole D chord. I really only need the third string and the second string, second fret. So I'm not going to bother with the fourth string. I don't touch it the whole song. I don't play it. So, so that I can keep that, that cool, uh, you know, arpeggio going. Uh, the, the fourth string is, you know, it's on the uke, it's, it's, it's a thinner string, so it's, um, it's higher, so it doesn't really work so well in a lot of songs. So I'm going to avoid it completely. So your, your right hand, or what I'm doing, I'm just using my thumb. You could use your thumb and fingers. Like, you could do it like that, too. Um, I just use my thumb for the whole thing. I'll show you the different ways. So I, I basically grab a D chord. And what I'm going to do is an arpeggio where I'm going to go three, two, one, two. And the easiest way is with the thumb. And you do that twice. You could use your thumb on the third string for the whole song and use your, your index finger on the second and your middle on the first. And do it like that too. Uh, either way, doesn't really matter uh, to me. So that's a D chord. Then you want an E minor chord, uh, third string, fourth fret, second string, third fret, first string, second fret. And you do that arpeggio twice. And then you need an A chord, which is just, uh, I'm just going to grab the third string, first fret. Like I said, I don't need the fourth string, but if you want, you could grab the, uh, the, the whole A chord. And I'm just going to do the same exact arpeggio twice. Then back to D, twice. And here I am going back and forth between thumb and fingers. I'll probably just do that, so sorry. But you can use your thumb for the whole thing if you want. So there's like four lines you could think of. So here's the first one. is a D, twice. The E minor, twice. Then the A, twice. And then the D, twice. And now, stay on the D, two more times, and then the E minor twice. Here's where it switches, D once, A once, and then D. What I do there is I do the whole arpeggio, and then I stop on the third string, I hit it once, and then I rest for a beat and a half, you know, because um, I hit that, that's an eighth note, rest, half rest, and then a quarter rest and then you're back into the song. So now you're halfway there, okay? Hopefully this makes sense. Uh, all right, you're gonna need one more chord. Let's go over that right now. It's a G minor, third string, second fret, second string, third fret, first string, first fret, okay? You're gonna eventually need that um, and the same arpeggio. So it's, it's wicked simple. So now our third line in the song is a D twice again. E minor twice again, A twice again, and then D twice again. Here's where it changes. This is the fourth, the last line is a G minor twice to a D twice, and then A, and then the D, and then you stop it. Okay? So there is, there is a pattern to it that you could grab hold of. You know, it, it, it's got D twice, E minor twice, A twice, and D twice. And then the second line is 
uh, just a little different. It's D twice again, E minor twice again. But now you have a D once and an A once, and then the D twice, which I stop the second time like that. So there is a pattern because then the third line is exactly like the first line, so you can cling to that. D twice, E minor twice, A twice, D twice. It's exactly the same. So the first and third lines in the, in the, the, the verse, song, whatever you want to call it, are the same. The fourth line is different. It's the cool one where he gets the minor, the G minor, and then the D. So that one's a G minor twice, D twice, A twice, and then the D twice, which you cut off. Okay? So hopefully that makes sense. Here, I'll try it again all the way through. This time I'll play it with the thumb and fingers, okay? So I think there's some pickup notes. Oh, sol, mi, oh, da, da, di, da. That's E minor. And then A to a D. to D. D to the E minor and then the A and then the D and then the G minor ba -de da D da 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 A chord and then the D that's it. Uh, I will ask Emma to put a link for my work there that you could follow along. It's all tabbed out. It's wicked simple. All right. Uh, please hit like, please uh, subscribe, and play more ukulele.